Hello, this is Debbie Kay with the League of Women Voters of Portland. We're here with Metro East Community Media to talk with candidates running in the May 2020 primary election. With me today is Khan Pham, running for State Representative District 46. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Glad you could be here. Let's get started. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running for this office. Sure, well, um, I am the daughter of Vietnamese refugees. I'm the wife of an immigrant and I'm a mom. I'm a working mom of a five-year-old daughter named Maya. I've been living and working in the heart of House District 46 along 82nd Avenue and Division for many years now, working first at Apano, the Asian Pacific American Network of Oregon, and now I currently work at Opal Environmental Justice Oregon. So I'm committed to this area, and over the last few years, I helped to build one of the most diverse coalitions that the city's ever seen uh, to pass the Portland Clean Energy Fund, which is raising $50 million a year for clean energy and job training for low-income communities and, and communities of color. And so, you know, this model of taking climate action while, while, um, while building a renewable economy is what is the kind of model and vision that we want to bring to Salem. And so that's why I am excited to run as Contium for House District 46. Thank you. What do you see as the challenge this, challenges that have been and will be created by the pandemic to the effective and efficient administration of Oregon state government? How do you propose to meet those challenges? Yeah, this is, you know, this is one of the biggest crises that the state has ever faced um, from our public health to the economic fallout and the communities that I've been working with that were struggling even before this crisis um, need to have an effective state government to be able to meet these challenges. So in terms of your question about administration, I would say that this is um, an opportunity for us to look at new technologies, online technologies that allow allow both legislators and also community members to engage with our, their, with our state government. Uh, we've, we've long known that rural Oregonians and working class, low income communities, communities of color have struggled to be able to, to drive to Salem to access our state legislature. And uh, these new, this might be an opportunity for us to, to try new technologies um, along with appropriate security measures to be able to ensure that we can, um, we can still govern and meet the, the needs of communities, particularly in this, this crisis moment. Thank you. Traditionally, the legislature has conducted the decennial redistricting process, which will occur next year in 2021. Are you comfortable with the current redistricting process? And if not, how would you seek to change it? Well, currently, uh, with the, the current redistricting process is done through our legislature, and we know that there are problems with having elected representatives decide the boundaries of their own districts. And at the same time, I think it's important to note that, um, that redistricting should really elevate racial justice um, to ensure that the voices of Black, Indigenous, and people of color Oregonians not just voters um, are fully heard and represented at the legislature and in Congress. Um, so we recently found out that because of coronavirus, um, our census is being delayed. And that means that our Secretary of State, not our legislatures, legislators are gonna just decide the boundaries of our districts in 2021. I am troubled and I, I don't think it's wise to put that much power in a single person's hands. Um, those are some of my concerns about the the current redistricting process as well as in 2021. Thank you. What are your thoughts on cap and trade proposals intended to mitigate climate change? Are they a good idea or not? Why? Um, you know, climate justice is a is obviously a, a core value of mine. I am I I'm concerned about the cap and trade. I'm I'm on the record of in opposition because. The results from California and other places have shown that cap and trade has not been an effective mechanism to reduce emissions in California, and it's harmed uh, low income black and brown communities in the US, as well as globally. And my biggest concern is that it could prevent us from winning what we really need in terms of climate action, if it because we spend so much time and political capital on it that legislators and, and polluters 
can use this symbolic legislation to, to refuse to pass bolder legislation. So one of the key planks of my candidacy is passing an Oregon Green New Deal. We know that we need to take action on a range of sectors, um, including agriculture and forestry, which were not included in cap and trade. And I think that um, by passing an Oregon Green New Deal, we can create jobs through investing in 100% renewable energy, through reforming our highway trust fund, through regenerative agriculture and forestry, uh, to take a comprehensive approach to reducing greenhouse gas emissions, uh, while also generating needed investments to help communities that are already experiencing the impacts of climate change and need help and investments to transition to a renewable economy. Thank you. What is your view of the suggestion that the leg legislature suspend collecting the taxes that will fund the 2019 Student Success Act? I believe that Oregon must continue to collect the taxes that will fund the Student Success Act. Um, you know, it's very clear that the corporate activities tax only applies to businesses with sales over $1 million. And, you know, suspending the cat entirely will force cuts um, when we know that even without suspending the corporate activities tax, we're already facing revenue that will be much lower than was anticipated when the Student Success Act was passed. It's important to remember that, you know, lawmakers, that, you know, businesses that have to be shut down won't benefit from cutting taxes because they don't have any they have little to no taxable income for to for to be taxed instead these broad tax cuts are going to benefit corporations that many of which have been able to thrive we know many businesses are suffering but some are seeing a surge in orders and we need to make sure that um, that we're, we're, that those corporations that are able to pay taxes do fund the needed social services that we need more than ever in this time. As a state, we need to make sure that in a time of economic crisis, when so many of our families are facing cuts to their health, their housing and, and health care and food, uh, threats to their access to these needed social services, we need to double down and ensure those families are, are fully supported. Thank you. We still have a little time left. What would you so what would you like to talk about? I am happy to talk about um, any of my platform about the Oregon Green New Deal or um, I'm also happy to talk about, pick, I don't know. Pick, I was, pick, um, the, pick the thing you most want to share. Um, I would say maybe if you could ask, it's easier for me to Maybe you could pose more questions about, I didn't talk about my work in the community and you could maybe, uh, if you could. You've got I guess, about, um, about yeah. 35 seconds. What's your work in the community? Oh, okay. So I have been working on housing issues to, to protect tenants from displacement in, in the J district where I've spent most of my, my time. And, and this is involved uh, working with immigrants who are, the, who are vulnerable to the rising rents. And for me, housing justice, economic justice, and climate justice um, and jobs are, are all interconnected and we need to take a, uh, a coordinated approach that recognizes the opportunities that the transition to a renewable economy represents. Thank you. This has been Video Voters Guide. The primary election is Tuesday, May 19th. Please be an informed voter. Visit vote411.org to learn more about the candidates and ballot measures on your ballot and exercise your right to vote. Thank you for watching.